Spring practice is no day at the beach for the LSU Tiger football team. In fact, you could call it Survivor Baton Rouge, where Les Miles contestants will definitely have to outlast the competition. We just want to provide a, a, a backdrop so that we can develop uh, you know, a, a real physical style and we want to create a competition in a, in, in a physical way. Coach Miley's yelling a lot more. Uh, I believe he just want to send a message across to the guys that he's, we're not used to being here. That competition will be wide open on both sides of the ball with the departure of several key contributors and leaders. On defense, that means replacing the likes of Raheem Alem, Jacob Cotrera, and Chad Jones. Well, it's going to be hard, I mean, just to place those, those, type, of, those type of players that we had last year. Um, but we just got to come in and do what we got to do. I mean, we've been here before. We've been, we did, we went through it in high school, just not just going through it at a high level. I believe Drake Nevis is a uh, phenomenal, phenomenal leader. Um, Kevin Shepard, one, another guy, and myself, I just got to help get my guys ready as a secondary. Being designated the leader of LSU defense is always a big challenge under Coach Shavers. Him giving me that responsibility, I'm just going to take it and try to run with it and make it the best year possible. I mean, last year was pretty good. But I feel like I could get even better. I mean, under him, I mean, the sky's the limit. The biggest void on offense is at running back where Charles Scott and Keelan Williams are gone. That leaves Stephen Ridley, who had just 45 carries last season, and Richard Murphy, who had just two before going down with a season-ending knee injury. Yeah, I'm a veteran guy. I mean, I feel like when I go out there, I feel comfortable out there. I feel like I know all the plays. I feel more, more relaxed. I feel like I'm not more like I used to be tensed up going to practice. I think uh, Murphy and Ridley certainly are guys that uh, look forward to making their having impact and, and playing well. They, they're both veterans. Um, and then uh, I, I think Mike Ford, Michael Ford shows, you know, with, with his um, with his carries and a little bit of experience that he has, that he's got great athletic ability, and I think there's going to be competition at that position. And the backfield isn't the only spot where the stars have departed Tiger Island. The top tight end and the top receiver have moved on. That means Terrence Tolliver will have a new role along with his new number this season, and Russell Shepard, the highly touted quarterback, will now line up as a wide receiver. They expect me to be a, a go-to type guy and help, you know, follow behind Terrence Tolliver as well as the other, you know, Richard, Richard Murphy and the other top guys. So I look forward to doing it. I'm one of the most uh, seasoned guys here in that uh, receiver group. We're just trying to get these guys ready uh, to play this year, Russell and Ruben. You know, they played a lot last year, but, I mean, they weren't just a big, big part of offense. Now they're going to be a big part of offense this year. So you got to step up and be a leader. With the loss of so many skill position players, the pressure is on Jordan Jefferson to continue that development. Now, last year, he was in a battle for the starting quarterback's job, and he was that year's survivor. In Baton Rouge, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.